As we get into the summer, strawberries are on the shelves and we have Strawberry Delight Collection. This is ready for you and I hope you'll have fun when you come play with us. Before we get into Teresa's wonderful projects, let me just show you what is here. Now there is a product video showing you every sheet, every bit of all of these on any of the products, but just to give you kind of an overall, we of course have our 12 by 12 Strawberry Delight with uh, 12 uh, coordinating uh, papers, cardstocks, and also 56 cutouts. And then also coordinating are our solid cardstock. There are 11 sheets on 11 colors on 12 sheets. We also have our 31 die cuts on two separate sheets, so handy. And our six by six papers, which are the same as the 12 by 12, but smaller. And there are 24 sheets, so you get four of each and 112 cutouts, oh my goodness. And we also have the chipboard, and wait till you see what you can do with that. And also, Strawberry Delight cutting dies. There are 16 in this package. Now, we usually have this type of product, but this time we have a few extra things. We have Strawberry Jam Foil Paper Toll. And uh, you can see those strawberries popping off. Wait till you see what Teresa's done with that. And we also have some uh, red um, it adhesive crystals. And this is a bonus uh, going with these. And then we also have these strawberries. Now there are five in a package. They are three dimensional. How fun to string a ribbon or jute through that and maybe wrap it around the fold of your card. Um, put it on a tag, do some fun things with it. So let's scoot these and get into our projects. But before we do that, I just want to share a scrapbook page because this is a 12 by 12. I hope you can see those tiny red dots on that uh, background, but you can certainly see that wonderful uh, border at the bottom. There is a gingham that's part of it and an oval doily. You can see those crystals and um, also one of the cutouts that is from the package. So just want to give you that and let you know that uh, we're thinking of you scrapbookers. Now, speaking of that oval doily, it is used on Teresa's first card. We'll get in even closer just to let you see what's going on here. And what Teresa did, well, in fact, we'll first start with the paper because in fact, you just saw a little bit of it on that scrapbook page. So that's a nice segue. So she didn't use this area. She did use this area of the paper and that is placed on her five by six and a half inch card. And you can see the red lace that's there. Well, Teresa kind of mirrored that look right here. Now I mentioned the oval doily. Let me bring that in. And the oval doilies look like this. They're a nice large size. You get 25 in a package. Teresa says to cut one in half uh, vertically. So that's what I've done. And then she has us coloring it. Now, this, this was interesting because um, number one, the ink pad that she used is Hunky Dory's and it's called Red Pastel. And I hadn't opened that up before and I was really surprised to see that wonderful rich red color. So I'm not quite sure why they named it Red Pastel, but you know, it's their company. They can do what they want. So what you're going to do is just dab it onto the um, doily until it gets the color that you want. So that's just all it is. It's just that hard and I'm not going to continue doing it because you get the idea. But I do want you to know that red pastel, you can ignore the pastel name and just go with red because there it is. Now what Teresa did is she um, had cut this paper down and she took that doily and just centered it on the corner and then wrapped the excess around the paper. Now that way she's got a red edge on the paper you can cut it if you want to rather than wrapping it, but that's what Teresa did. So I want to share that with you. Now, right here, she has done two different things. Well, actually, first, she would have taken the ribbon 
And the ribbon, of course, is out of the red ribbon pack. And it's wrapped, this is the one eighth inch wide ribbon. She wrapped it around that piece uh, after she had placed the doily and wrapped it twice and then just did a knot. Now, this is one of the die cuts. Remember I showed you the package of the 31 die cuts? Well, here it is. And she has just kind of tucked it under the ribbon so it looks like it's knotted in place, but it's really just glued there. Now, the second thing that she did was to take the surprise. Now, the surprise is off the sheet that is the cutouts that is in the package. And there's the surprise. Lifted it up on foam tape, and it's right there. Now, do you see the butterflies? Aren't they pretty? Well, the butterflies come from our package of 117 beautiful butterflies. It is this mold, this uh, cunning die, in lots of different colors. And as you can see, the um, butterfly is gold, but some areas are red, and that's what you see on the sheet. So she's got one, two, three butterflies just fluttering right there. And there are, let me see, there are nine different sheets in different colors in that package. And then on the inside of her card, so here it's kind of darker with red. You see some pops of white. On the inside, she's gone a little bit differently, which is what our Teresa does. And there is a sheet in all of our collections now that has these larger cutouts. And I'm finding that people are just loving them. And you can see what Teresa did. She used this one. She matted it on that dot that was on the first sheet and placed it, uh, oh, and then also matted it again on the red solid cardstock and glued it to the inside of her card. Now she's got a piece of ribbon right here, that same 1 8 inch. And this is also one of the uh, die cuts. And here it is on the package, or on the sheet. And it's right above the one that she used on the front. I have the very, very best birthday. Could have been very best, couldn't it? Um, and that's going on the side, which I think is fun. Another little butterfly there and there. And that finishes the card. I mean, so easy to do, and yet such a striking look. So that is our first one from our Teresa. Now let me show you this next one. And here we go. And this has some of those red crystals. And Teresa says that she really loves using them, but she finds they're a little bulky on the inside of her card. So she uses the crystals on the front, but on the inside, right here, she used the red jewel dazzles. So that gives her the shine and the color without the bulk. So I thought that was an interesting tip to pass on to you. Look at this chipboard. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, let's first start <laughs> with what we're going to do on our, um, on our card before we get into the chipboard. And let me show you the sheet that she used. So this is actually the first sheet in the package. It's got a border. It also has this um, crate of strawberries and also this all over pattern in the back. On the back side of it, there is this, the dark, uh, the black background with the strawberries all over it. And Teresa has used both sides of this sheet. So she first took this one and cut it to size. Now, speaking of size, where will you find those exact measurements? Right down below. Just click on the card. You'll see the written directions that Teresa does for us, and you can get all the measurements perfectly. So first she cut that piece out. She matted it on the red, the solid cardstock, as you can see, and glued that down on her card. Then she took that um, polka dot that we used on the first card, this one, and she cut a smaller piece and matted it on the red and glued that down. And then this, that dark piece, as you can tell, is the back side of this sheet. So nothing goes to waste. That's one of the wonderful things with card making is that you can use all of the elements of not only the 12 by 12, but also the six by six. So she matted that on the red also and glued it to the bottom. Now let's get into that um, wonderful chipboard. And as I showed you, 
The chipboard comes in a package. There's 21 pieces. And I have to tell you, um, other designers have told me that the chipboard we have is just such a good, good quality that they really appreciate it. So you can see that there is this wonderful curved piece. I hope you can see that. As well as individual strawberries, flowers. Um, you are very sweet, what Teresa has used right there. There's some butterflies also. And um, all of those she has done some fun things with. So let me bring in a craft sheet. And let me just show you the process. I'm certainly not going to do the whole thing, but I just want to show you what Teresa does and what her process is. So I'm just going to take um, two of the ink pads. These are the Hunky Dory Prism. And she took the letter box red. Now in England, their mailboxes are red. They call them letter boxes. And um, that's where that color comes from. So we're seeing lots of red today. In fact, we have an earth red right here. Now what Teresa does is she stamps them onto the craft mat and then spritz them with water, just like that. And then she picks it up with her brush and goes into coloring. Now I'm going to pop out one of the strawberries, just so you can see this. And there we go, maybe we can get in closer. Here we go. So I've got the letterbox red right here, spritzed it, and I'm just going to take my paintbrush and just start coloring like this. Okay, I think we'll get a little bit more water. My paintbrush is dry, so we'll have to pick, there we go, getting more. And you're just coloring it just like so. Now I wanna stay away from the leaves because those will go a different color, obviously. So you can see how quick this is. Now, to get the shading, okay. So can you see on these how it's darker right there? What Teresa did is she went into the earth red and just rubbed her paintbrush over it and just went right down there. So do that a little bit more. Now she said she just rubbed it on the ink pad itself. There we go, I'm picking up a little bit. And that's really all you want. You just want to shade it. Now, if it becomes too distinct, which I don't think I have that problem here, you can go back to the diluted and just um, kind of rub them together. Now, after that was done and all dry, now she did, oh, let me tell you. So she did that on all of the chipboard pieces that she elected to use, but, and she did that process of two colors. So on the leaves, she used holly green and khaki, which I thought was interesting. On the um, uh, butterflies and the flowers, she used blueberry and violet. Then she used hmm, tangerine. So tangerine is into the center of some of the flowers. But then, in order to get the shine, can you see that shine, how pretty that is? Well, that's going to be our old staple. We're going to tap all of them with a Versamark or a Watermark ink pad. Going to spread on the clear embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then use a heat gun to um, melt the embossing powder. So, you know, a heat gun. This is an older one that I have. And just to heat that and melt it, and you're going to get that shine. Now, these pieces were not colored at all. So you are very sweet, but the clear embossing powder just adds not only the shine, but it adds a little bit of a darker color to it. So you can see that it is darker than the original color. That's simply the um, embossing powder. So that's what has been done. And that is the process that she used. And how gorgeous is that? Okay, those get glued strictly onto the card all by itself. For the inside of her card, she went again to this sheet 
and you can see that she used, let's see, let me fold that back. She used this one and simply matted it on the light green in the solid collection and glued it down. That Unforgettable, that comes from the die cuts. There it is. Time with you is unforgettable. Doesn't that green just pop nicely with the, the matting? More of the chipboard right there. And remember the red jewel dazzle. And you are done. How, what a stunning, stunning card. And I, this is a good technique to remember not only the coloring, but also you can just use the um, clear embossing powder and get kind of a different look with your chipboard. Okay, now I have something uh, that I have not seen before. And here is Teresa. She calls this a wonky center step. Well, you can kind of see how that's going at a strange angle, but how fun. Now I have to tell you, the first time I saw this, I thought, oh, aren't those Mary papers great? But I was struck by what she did with the chocolate. Now she used our brown glitter cardstock. Remember with the cutting die? Well, not sure that I really showed it to you, but there are the strawberries. There are these pieces that are chocolate because what are strawberries without dipping them in chocolate? They are just so much better. So we have given you several shapes to just attach to the top or to the front of your strawberry. Now, the way I think of chocolate is shiny and brown. And that's what um, Debbie did on this card. So she did brown cardstock, die cut it, and then she put crystal lacquer on top. But Teresa went a different direction. And I have to say, I think it's pretty neato. So on this card, let me get back to how to make this card, OK? After I extol about the chocolate. Now here's the pattern. You will see this when you click on this card and go over to the right. You'll see the instructions, but you'll also see the free download. And Teresa did this um, using our regular five by six and a half inch cards. So this is six and a half inches by 10 inches. The lines that are straight are meant to be cut. The broken lines are score lines, okay? So she's given us this pattern. And if you placed it, on our um, five by six and a half inch cards, this is what you would get. So you would cut along the outside, of course, those two lines. And then Teresa tells us on the download which are mountain and which are valley folds. So a mountain, as you know, goes up like that. See the mountain? And then a valley is going to go the opposite way. It goes down. So the way that this is done, is these two become the center of the card. It's not the score line that's on the card itself. And these are going to go down. And I forgot my bone folder, but um, you'll want to have one. So you can see that that is the shape that we're going to use. Now we're going to get in closer so that you can see what's going on with this. Now what Teresa did is she cut her papers to fit within the size of the uh, wonky center step. And she gave us a cheat sheet. She gave us this, which is another download. And it gives us the paper shapes that are going to go on this card. Pray for Teresa. Now, let me show you what she used. Here is the sheet that she used on the front of the card. It is <clears throat> a border. Down at the bottom, it is brighter colors. At the top, they're a bit more muted. And what she used is the more muted, obviously. And you can see that as you can see how these are looking. So this piece is out of here, as are the two other pieces. So just like that. And you can see how nice those are. That, that muted back area really lets the Mary cardstock pop, don't you think? Okay, now, then she used the um, straight line dazzles. Now this is the colorful set, and as you can see, um, and it has the narrow ones and the wide ones, and these have just been so popular and so versatile. So the wider ones are at the top, the narrow, she's got two of them at the bottom, and they're just going right even onto the paper. 
Now let's get to the shiny stuff. The shiny stuff comes from the Miri. And the Miri that she used is the Pillar Red and the Emerald Green. And they have a shine to them. They are a cardstock. As I said, she used the cutting dies on them. And you can see what she's done. So obviously the red is the strawberries. We've um, given you the leaves separately so you can just glue them on top. And, um, and then she's gone into the brown glitter cardstock, a very surprising and fun choice. And you can see how she's just put that on the strawberries that are on the top. Now this part, that we match like strawberries and chocolate. That's one of the die cuts right there. So that's just does a really nice job of tying everything together. And I think this wonky shape is really kind of fun. On the inside, so on the front, it's very green. On the inside, she's gone red. And here she has used, now this sheet she we used earlier, remember? But she's gone back to that because you get two sheets after all. And she has cut a piece and it's using this area. Uh, that's how it's oriented, okay? So this is just a straight piece to go on the inside. This beautiful arch that fits perfectly right there is one of the die cuts. You are the chocolate to my strawberry. And then she's added more of the die cut strawberries at the bottom. So very fun, very bright and colorful. Okay, I have one more card for you. And this is a different shape too, at least it's new to me. This is called a split front card. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a Dutch door. So this is going to lift up, this is going to slide out, and there we go. So that's the, the split front. Okay, so you can see that. Now let me show you how that goes. We are first going to cut three eighths of an inch off the front flap, okay? You can see that there's a piece cut. Then we're going to measure down two and a half inches and make a mark. And then we're going to measure over from that opening three and a quarter inches and draw a line and then cut on that line. And you can see that this is the front of the card just like it's right there, okay? Now, we want to make <clears throat> this piece to, that's going to go right in. That piece comes from a separate piece of cardstock. By the way, did I say that we started with the five by six and a half inch card? If I didn't, we did. Okay, got it. <laughs> now we're going to have another piece of white cardstock. We're going to measure four inches by six and a half because it's going to be the same height as the card. And then we're going to go over to the right side and measure in a half inch and do a score line. Then we're going to piece, put, place a piece of extra sticky tape, say that three times fast, and that's going to attach to the back of the card. So I'm gonna end up flipping this over. Then we would take that off, take the liner off, and have the card, have that flap go over. Then when, you have your card, you're just going to slip it in, just like that. Super easy. Okay, let's see what she used. Now for this card, she went into our six by six collection. So that um, is going to give a slightly different look. So you're going to see a couple of the same papers you've seen earlier. In fact, we're going to start with this one. We've used this quite a bit on these some of these cards. But this time, she has gone to the top of the card and she has cut a piece just to fit within this bottom flap, okay? We're just gonna do that right now. For this piece, that is the top part of this one. Remember, we used that on the very first card. Probably hard to see, but those are red dots on that black background. That is going to go right there also. Then on the inside, we're going to put a green, and this is the green. This is one that we just used on our wonky card, where it's got the darker strawberries at the bottom and the lighter at the top. She simply 
cut that to size, matted it on the lime green, and that went into her card. Now for the flap, this is the one that she used, and I love this because I love the strawberries. So she used this area, and again, cut it to the measurements that she has, and matted it on a light pink out of the solid. So that goes there. So those are all of the papers, all of them out of the six by six. So let's go back and see what she used to decorate. Thank you for being you. That's out of the cutouts that are in the paper collection. This is part of, remember at the beginning I said there were some bonus things that will coordinate with this? Well, this is one of them. This is the paper toll. Let me open this up. These are die cut for you. And if you're not familiar with them, you're in for a treat because they are foiled. And you get multiple layers of each of them. So in this case, there is this super sweet. There's also this, this uh, kind of award. And there's also a border. So all three of those are the finished design, but you get pieces to foam tape on top. I hope that's clear. Now, in this case, the super sweet, well, actually, they're numbered. So number one, number two, number three, number four. These are all the same color of numbers, so I know they all go together. Super easy. So we take this one and glue it down. Then we take number two, put some foam tape underneath it, and place that. Number three, we place with foam tape on top, and our Squares of foam tape are not terribly thick, so this won't build up to be, you know, an inch tall. They're just a really nice, perfect size for this type of layering. Now, if you didn't want it to say super sweet, there's a bonus thing here. There is a blank one. So you could put dazzles on there, you could stamp it, you can do whatever you want. So that is available. Then number four is a little cluster of strawberries on top. Now, that's four layers. Let me show you the side of this. Let's see. Let me get white behind it so you can see. It is not terribly thick. In fact, I would say that that's, gosh, about an eighth of an inch. I mean, it's really, really nice. Okay, so that's going to work very nicely. So that's just one. Now, you can build them up like that or you can elect to just use them separately, your choice. Okay, so that is the front of our card. Now for this one, she did the You Make Life Sweet, and that's also a cutout, and that just gets foam taped right there. This is flat. On the inside, look what she's done. Remember I said you can use them individually? Well, that's exactly what Teresa did. She elected to take this one and use it all by itself. And um, then she added some of the flowers that are, there's extra art always on these sheets, and placed them like so. So that goes in the center. Now, you are the best. Well, you are the best is also one of the cutouts. So that gets foam taped on top. So everything is finished in this um, split front card, as you can, whoops, as you can see. So very fun. It's a nice kind of exploration card that lets you see some different things every time you open it. Okay, that's what we have. That is our collection of uh, Strawberry Delight. You saw the 12 by 12. You saw the solids. You saw the die cuts used many ways. You saw the six by six, the chipboard, the cutting dies. But you also saw the uh, red uh, uh, adhesive um, crystals. You saw this, well, you didn't see the strawberries. The strawberries, I'm going to leave to you, but I gave you an idea, so that helps. And then you also saw the strawberry jam oil paper toll, so those die cuts too. So this is the huge collection. Now, it, everything is down below, and then if you want to know what was used in each project, when you click on the project down below, it will show you. Now, there is a money saver. Of course there's a money saver. Where is it? On the right side of your screen. So we give you a, um, 
a discount for buying everything. We want to thank you for doing that. If you would like to get our collection every month, every month we create a brand new collection of products. And we have something for you if you would like to be sure to get them. And we call this a I Want It All subscription. So every month we'll send you the whole collection. This time, um, this will not be the cutting die. You won't, I think you do get the strawberry jam. I don't think you get these two. And um, you will get 20% off if you sign up to receive that. Now you will receive them before this webisode airs. That way you get a chance to, you know, start creating. And many of you have already done that, which is really fun. Now, if you really, really, really want it all and you want to add that cutting die, we call that I really want it all. Isn't that just amazing how well that works? You're going to get the same 20% off. You're going to get the same thing. You're going to get the whole collection. Uh, as I have described it, and you will get also a 20% discount. So if you are interested in either of those, where are they? Can I hear you? On the right side of your screen. If you're watching this on YouTube, we always would like you to like us, we want you to like us, to subscribe, and then to head on over to paperwishes.com. You can see the instructions, again, they're down below. You can print them off if you like and you can take advantage of all of this creativity and we would love to have you. And by the way, we do about 20 webisodes every single month. So we're right there at your um, elbow to uh, create along with you and give you some ideas from our design team. So thank you for joining us, Teresa. As always, thank you for some wonderful inspirations and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.